everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I thought I would share with you some of the best Christmas hacks that either I have used before or that I have found since researching for this video. So I really hope that you enjoy them. If you are new here then hello, I'm Helen and I'm posting lots of motherhood and lifestyle videos twice a week and I'm also posting some extra videos over the Christmas period so if you like what you see then I really hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you but yes without further ado I'll stop talking and let's get into the Christmas hacks. My first Christmas hack is to make your own Christmas decorations for your tree and all you will need is a sheet of paper with some music on from a Christmas song preferably so just go online and look for sheet music for Christmas songs and print one off and then you just fold it kind of back and forth along the short edge. Then you will need to fold it in half and just wrap some ribbon around it, tie it nice and tight, and then you should have some more ribbon left over to tie it on your tree, and it just looks really, really lovely. Now, for the one that I showed you, I used white paper, but last year I did have one in cream paper, which looks really good too. You could even think about dyeing some of your white paper with a tea bag, just to kind of make it look a bit more vintagey. And yeah, I just think it looks really, really pretty on your Christmas tree. My next hack is a bit of a more practical one, and that is a way of keeping your tubes of wrapping paper looking a little bit neater and more together. So all you need to do is find the inner tube of a kitchen roll, cut it all the way up and just pop your wrapping paper in that. What I found was that the tube was slightly wider than my wrapping paper so I just squeezed it to help it stay in place and yes it just really helps to keep those rolls of wrapping paper a bit more under control. You could make it look a little prettier, you could wrap the kitchen roll tube in wrapping paper or you could even use some foil but I just thought to be a little bit more eco-friendly I would just leave mine plain but yes you could make it look prettier as well. Also for your wrapping paper I don't know about you but I tend to buy quite a lot and I just have a lot of rolls hanging about and I either have them in a black bag and that just looks a bit ugly and they don't kind of stand up at all or carrier bags which are much too small for them. So what I thought I would do this year is I found a really really big gift bag which you can easily buy from shops like Home Bargains and just pop all your wrapping paper in there and they will help to stand up it seems to be the perfect size and then to help them keep straight and in order if you just hang that bag onto a good wooden hanger so that is nice and strong and that will just help to keep your wrapping paper really nice and organized you could either hang that actually in your wardrobe if you prefer not to have it in sight or just hang it somewhere else kind of on your wardrobe door perhaps and yeah it's just a really good way of keeping your wrapping paper organized i know a lot of people wrap their presents from very early on when they first start buying them and i just really hate having all this wrapping paper lying around and looking messy so i thought this was a lovely lovely good and easy way just to keep it all nice and tidy my next hack is an idea for a table centerpiece or just another decoration and all you will need is a glass vase or bowl, whatever you have and then have some spare baubles, perhaps some fur or pine cones which is what I had as well and I think it also looks really nice with some fairy lights. So yes, you basically just put all of that into your container. Obviously make sure that you keep the fairy lights, the battery end out first so you pop the other end in first and just kind of wrap it all the way around so it gets all the way up your vase if that's what you're using and yeah it just looks really really pretty and effective and it's so so simple and cheap to do you could keep the little battery compartment underneath a ball ball kind of tuck it in or you could just leave it hanging down at the back it kind of depends what you're using and where you are putting it but yeah i just thought it looked really really pretty Another decoration idea is actually this garland behind me. So all I did was buy just a plain piece of that green garland there and I actually did this from last year and I just added my own bows on it with ribbon, I put my own fur cones in it and also some battery operated candles plus some fairy lights as well and yeah it just makes it look really really nice. It's such a nice statement on our fireplace otherwise it just looked a little bit boring and yeah I just thought it was really simple and quick to do again and if you wanted to change your colours for next year I can easily just strip the ribbon away it doesn't take any time at all nothing is permanent everything kind of just sits nicely in the branches you don't need to use any string or glue or anything so yeah I thought again that was something really really effective 
I don't know about you, but before I use this hack, I always used to get my Christmas tree lights in a right old mess. We just used to put them in a carrier bag, and then when it came to the year after, when you get them down from the loft, they would just be a little bit tangled. So a great way of keeping your Christmas lights neat and untangled is to actually wrap them around some cardboard. So you could either use just a flat piece of cardboard or you could use, for example, the tube of some wrapping paper, but it does need to be quite thick and solid. So just see what you have in your house handy. And then to keep the plug in, you could either tuck it underneath the row of lights or you could even put a little slit in your cardboard. But yes, that is a great, great hack and a great way of keeping your Christmas lights tidy. My next hack is another little Christmas decoration for your Christmas tree and all you will need is some ribbon and some cookie cutters. So you just want to tie your ribbon all the way around your cookie cutter. Now you can reuse your cookie cutter after so you might not want to glue the ribbon down when you start but you can either just tie the ribbon around that end so that it kind of stays tucked in or you could leave an end loose, which I did, and then when it comes to finishing it off, leave another little bit, and you can either use that to tie the decoration onto the tree, or what I did, I actually tied that into a little bow just to add a little something special to it, and then I tied some more string on and used that to hang it on the Christmas tree. And yeah, I just think that's a really, really cute idea. Obviously you can get loads and loads of different Christmas shaped cookie cutters. We found a pack on eBay, so I'll try and leave them linked below. But yes, it was really quick and easy to do. My next Christmas hack is for your wreath on your front door. Now I don't know about you, but I didn't really want a hook on my front door. So what you can do is actually put a little hook on the inside of your front door. And if you pop it upside down, it just makes it a bit easier. So you just have your Christmas wreath, you tie your string or your ribbon or whatever you have, want to use through your wreath and then tie it over your front door into the inside and just loop it around that little hook. And I just use one of those sticky plastic hooks that are really, really cheap and easy to find anywhere. Obviously, if you don't want the ribbon or string to show, you can use something which isn't going to show whether it's the same colour as your door or you can get that kind of thick plastic wire, I'm not sure what it's called, kind of a craft string. But yes, you can do whatever you like and it's just a really good way of hanging up your Christmas wreath. My next Christmas hack is to make your own gift tags. And I wasn't even sure if I was going to include this because I was thinking it's probably something that most people will have heard about previously because I literally remember, whether it was my mum and my nan, doing this years ago. So it's to make your own gift tags from previously used Christmas cards. We get so many nice pretty Christmas cards and it just seems such a shame just to put them in the recycling and not to use them again. So what you can do, just find a Christmas card and you could make several gift tags just from one and you just cut out the design or a shape do whatever you can, it depends, you know, you might have a reindeer that you could use or a picture or just use part of a snowy scene, for example, and use that for a gift tag. Now you can use normal scissors for this, which obviously would give you a straighter edge, or I have some pink and shears, I think that's what they're called, they give that zigzag effect and I just thought that looked really cute too. And then with your hole punch, just put a hole into the gift tag and then use some string, put it on your presents. And yeah, it's just a great, great way of making your own tags. My next hack makes it much easier when you're trying to find the right boxes in the loft for your Christmas decorations. I don't know about you, but our loft is full of random and different stuff. And so trying to find the correct boxes and bags of Christmas decorations can be a bit of a hassle. So for the past couple of years, what I've done is tie something onto the bag or put something on the box, which makes me know straight away that it is full of Christmas decorations. So you could put a little bit of Christmas wrapping paper over the top, you could tie some tinsel around, just whatever you have, try and find something so that as soon as you see it in the loft, you know that is what you are looking for. My next Christmas hack is to have a little box or basket handy for Christmas day. And you know, on Christmas day, there's so much going on and sometimes you just need certain things to hand and you don't wanna to bother to search for them. So just pop all the practical and handy stuff into a little basket. So for example, you might want scissors or a little screwdriver to help you break into those presents. You might wanna put some spare batteries in there. I've also put in some bin bags so that when we're unwrapping the presents, we can just 
have a bin bag handy to put the wrapping paper in. You might also want some tablets where you'll eat too much or you might drink too much or sometimes even just having such a busy day it can give you a bit of a headache can't it? So yeah something like tablets might be handy in there or camera chargers, a pen and paper. Just have a little think about the things that you need that are practical and just easy to have to hand. So yes that is the next hack. My final Christmas hack is to have some extra supplies in, in case you need to give someone a gift. You know, sometimes you might have people round and you don't have anything to give to them and they've brought you a present, or you might get invited somewhere and you're expected to bring something or you feel that you should, you know what it's like. So just make sure that you've got a couple of maybe boxes of chocolate or biscuit or a bottle of wine or something handy in your cupboard that you can just get out if you really need to. Now I know to some people you might be thinking that sounds a bit wasteful but don't forget you can easily use those items during the year for other presents too or just make sure that it's something that you like and then you can have it yourself. So those are my Christmas hacks. I know there are so many more that I could talk about, but I think I chose a really good selection there. So I really hope that you enjoyed listening to them. Do let me know in the comments below if you are going to try any of them or if you've got a special Christmas hack that you would like to share because I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching this one. I really hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate every single one of you that subscribes or comments. It really does mean so, so much to me. So I'd love you to stick around for more Christmassy videos. But yes, thank you so much for watching this one and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye everyone!